officially official. Wait. It's it's officially official. I can't wear that. Can't wear this. Maybe I can. Yes, I can. We're doing this. Kenny Clark getting locked up. So Mr. Kenny Clark, as you can see, just got signed over there somewhere to a $17 million a year deal. I know it's it's big money, $25 million signing bonus. Um, he got, what is it, $70 million over four years. It's, it's big numbers. But make no mistake, this is beyond best case scenario. I've been saying for a while, $18 million per year is best case scenario. And when Chris Jones signed his $20 million a, a, a year deal, I said, no way, it's it's it's... Maybe he doesn't get exactly that, but it's, I mean, 20 million is the standard. That's what he's getting. 17 and a half million is crazy money in terms of beneficial to the Packers. Now, people are making a big deal about $25 million. He's the highest paid this, that, or the other. Okay, I mean, yeah, this year he's getting 25 million in his pocket. So, in terms of cash, he's getting big money, and that's awesome. Round of applause for the man for getting paid. All excited about it, but. Um, he's not the highest paid guy. We don't, I don't think we have guaranteed numbers out quite yet. I'm, I'm trying to do export my mock draft video and I'm trying to pay attention to what's going on with training camp. So I'm, I'm missing some stuff, but, um, this is, this is as good as it gets. This is absolutely as good as it gets. And don't mind all the, the flashing lights and all the stuff people are talking about, about him being the highest paid this ad and our cap is in trouble. There is a, a distinct possibility that we're actually saving money this year because that signing bonus is cash in his pocket this year right now. But what it does is it gets split up over the four years. So there's, well, eh, would it be five years, I guess? Because there's this year... And the remaining four, so we're talking five million bucks over those five years. So what we know about his contract right now is five million dollars, and how much is getting added onto that, I don't know. But right now his cap hit, I believe, was seven and a half ish. So it's probably going to be a little bit more, if I had to guess, uh, as far as how much we're paying, but not much. I would guess it's pretty close to about the same amount. I should probably stop making projections because by the time you watch this, I'm probably already wrong. But it, again, absolute best case scenario to be able to get him for 17 and a half million absolutely fantastic so what are the Packers getting in Kenny Clark the, the the guy is beyond underrated now he got off to a little bit of a slow start last year but Kenny Clark right now is 24 years old he's going on 25 this year very very young football player um, one of the ascending defensive linemen um, if you look at how he graded out last year he was I think the 13th best overall defensive player which isn't all that flattering right 13th best but if you look at pass rush he was graded out third best again started off a little bit slow though he ended the season with um, nine sacks two hits 58 hurries 69 total pressures not the greatest thing in the world but look at what he did from week 13 on when he really really kicked in in gear overall he was the fourth highest graded defensive tackle in all of football it was Grady Jarrett Aaron Donald uh, Steve McClendon and then Kenny Clark and if you look at pass rush number one pass rusher down the stretch he had six sacks he only ended the season with nine sacks he got six of those from week 13 on he absolutely caught fire and if he can maintain that from the end of last year into what is what is going on this year easily could be the best defensive tackle in football he has that level of talent we've always known that everybody's known that which again is why 17 and a half million is crazy he's a 20 million dollar a year guy now Beyond that, I'm, I'm talking about the obvious here, but I want to look at real quick what this means for the team going forward. You know, we talk about um, the struggles that this team has in terms of the salary cap not being exactly where it is and, and wanting to get Aaron Rodgers more help. Look at this defense, though, and look how much everybody's locked up. This is absolutely absurd. Zadarius, Rashawn, Kenny Clark now, Dean Lowry, uh, Kingsley Kiki, Preston Smith, all these guys, this entire defensive line is locked up this year, next year, and beyond. All of them are. Right now, it's just Montrevious, Trevin Hester, Tyler Lancaster, Tim Williams, right? We're good. Beyond that, we, we've got um, uh, Darnell Savage. We've got Adrian Amos. We've got Chandon Sullivan. You know Jair's about to get paid, so he's going to get locked up long term. Kevin King is a question mark, but this is a very, very young defense. And if you want to talk about how we're helping Aaron Rodgers, all those guys that I just listed, from Jair, Zadarius, Rashawn, Kenny, Dean, Kingsley, Preston, all these guys, Darnell, Amos, they're all going to be locked up 
for the remainder of, of Aaron Rodgers' tenure, for the most part. Maybe one or two won't outlast him, depending on how long Aaron Rodgers plays. That's incredible. That's that's fantastic. And not everybody... I can go through time after time. I do all these mock drafts. I'm Half the time I'm drafting, guys, because there's nobody on this defensive line. There's entire DB units, safeties and corners, where there's like one guy that's locked up for the next three years. This is an incredibly young group that's going to be here for the rest of Aaron Rodgers' tenure, not to mention Jason DeGuara, not to mention um, we got Dexter, uh, we got A.J. Dillon, Dillon, we've got, um, you know, Devontae probably is going to get another one. We got Alan Lazard locked up for some time. Across the board, it's an incredibly young team. So there are some challenges in terms of not having a ton of money, but this is an I don't know how many times I can say it. It's, it's an incredibly young football team. They're only going to get better. Get excited. Finally, Mr. Kenny Clark, if you happen to be watching, on behalf of all Green Bay Packer fans, we could not be any happier that you got this money. We don't care even a little bit about the salary cap. You have earned this time and time again. You've earned beyond this. And the benefit of all this is you're going to be getting another contract. I think this burns out when you're about 28 years old. You got that big $25 million contract coming down the pike because you're not finished by a long, long sight. Anyways, be sure to check out the Packernet podcast. I'm talking to everybody else now. Although, Kenny, if you want to check it out, by all means, please do so. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. We're going to be looking at the training camp, etc., etc. Otherwise, you take care.